I'm Michelle St. Martin, and I'm a wildlife biologist for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And I study polar bears in the Chukchi Sea. We are looking at how sea ice loss affects, you know, changes in habitat use of polar bears in the Chukchi Sea. It's definitely exciting work. We're flying around following tracks, and polar bears don't tend to go one direction, and so they check out things. They're naturally curious. You know, you're following those, and so you're kind of spinning on a dime and going up and down and up and down and checking tracks. So it's a, uh, yeah, a bit of a roller coaster. So we're so far out that um, our helicopter doesn't have the fuel load. So we have a fixed wing that's sort of our mobile gas station. And then um, they'll land on the ice and we'll pull up next to them and refuel on the ice. The first time I went out, I thought it was pretty amazing. And uh, I was just blown away by how vast everything was and how stark everything was. We do go out all the way to the Dateline, and it's about 100 miles out, and uh, yeah, you, you don't think about it too much until you actually look at the GPS and realize how far you are from anything, really. Long days could be up to 12 hours, and that's not necessarily being in a helicopter the entire time. That's, you know, potentially up to six hours on the ground. Oh, there she is. Her. Okay, yep, we have caught up on a bear anyway, for sure. We're all good. I think our max is probably about six bears per day is what we can process. We take a suite of samples, um, everything from, you know, fat and blood to a whole bunch of measurements and then the weight, of course. Working that closely with an animal, you become very passionate about it, for sure. Yeah, I feel very fortunate to be able to do that. Being able to produce good science and then getting that good science out to the public, and I think that's really important for the public to see and understand, and that, that kind of drives me a little bit.